Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Delta pilots vote to authorize strike. Electric R44 logs first cross country. Strata launch test hypersonic prototype. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Delta pilots vote to authorize strike. The pilots of Delta Airlines have voted overwhelmingly in favor of a strike authorization ballot. 99% of the over 96% of Delta pilots who participated in the vote authorized union leaders to call a strike if necessary to achieve a new contractual agreement with Delta Airlines, and with good reason. Delta pilots are working under contractual provisions to include pay rates and benefits negotiated in 2016. Negotiations for a new labor agreement began in April 2019, nine months prior to the amendable date of December 2019. Talks entered mediation in February 2020 and were paused in March 2020 for nearly two years on account of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mediated talks resumed in January 2022, albeit to no avail. By U.S. federal law, labor contracts in the airline industry do not expire. Prior to the legal enactment of a strike, federal moderators must first determine that additional mediation efforts would prove fruitless and afford opposing parties opportunity to arbitrate contract disputes. In the event either side declines arbitration, it becomes incumbent on both parties to enter a 30-day cooling-off period, after which, as in the prevailing Delta instance, pilots and management may commence the strike by the union or a lockout by the airline's management. And after the break, Blue Origin delivers first BE-4 engine to United Launch Alliance. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Blue Origin delivers first BE-4 engine to United Launch Alliance. Blue Origin has completed delivery of its first BE-4 engine assembly to the United Launch Alliance, passing a major milestone in ending reliance on foreign heavy lift rocket engines. The BE-4 engine opens up a new era in American space manufacturing and launch capability, paving the way for ISS resupply without the use of Russian Soyuz heavy lift rocket when the engine sees widespread use throughout the industry. The BE-4 is on tap to provide ULA's Vulcan Centaur heavy launch vehicle with 60,000 pounds of payload to low Earth orbit. NBAA recognizes air traffic controller's heroism. The NBAA has recognized FAA air traffic controller Robert Morgan with its Above and Beyond Award for Heroic Achievement, which recognizes individuals whose substantial actions serve to preclude injury, loss of life, or catastrophic damage to business aircraft. On May 10, 2022, Mr. Morgan was on duty at Palm Beach International Airport when a passenger on board a Cessna 208 caravan contacted the tower to report the plane's pilot had been incapacitated during an inbound flight from the Bahamas. Russia threatens Starlink satellites. Konstantin Vorontsov of the Russian Foreign Ministry has made clear to United Nations Forum that Moscow reserves the right to disable or destroy commercial satellites providing internet access to Ukraine. Mr. Vorontsov's comments follow a failed American attempt to enact a ban on the testing of anti-satellite weapons. The U.S. initiative was dismissed by a seven-member bloc of nations led by Russia and China. 
the representatives of which argued that such a measure fell woefully short of guaranteeing international outer space activities remain exclusively peaceful. NTSB opens public docket for Bell 407 air tour accident investigation. The NTSB opened the public docket Monday as part of its ongoing investigation of the June 8, 2022 crash of a Bell 407 helicopter in Kalia, Hawaii. The helicopter was being operated as an air tour flight by Paradise Helicopters when the tail boom separated from the fuselage at an altitude of about 1,000 feet AGL. Of the six people on board, three were seriously injured and three sustained minor injuries. Investigative dockets, which are opened when the fact-gathering phase of the investigation has been mostly completed. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Electric R44 logs first cross-country. Tier 1 Engineering has successfully completed a flight between Jacqueline Cochran Regional Airport near Coachella and Palm Springs International Airport on October 29, 2022 at 1100 PST, the first helicopter flight between airfields solely by electric power. The flight from Jacqueline Cochran to Palm Springs equals the 21 nautical mile distance of the first commercial helicopter flight across the English Channel on September 25, 1947. The all-electric aircraft is a modified Robinson R-44 helicopter flown by pilots Rick Webb of OC Helicopters and Martine Rothblatt of Lung Biotechnology. Glenn Dromgoul, president of Tier 1 Engineering, said, quote, Progress in the development of all-electric propulsion is similar to other periods of significant advance in aviation. The first aircraft flew short distances and many people were afraid to ride in the new flying machines. At the start of the jet age, there was widespread skepticism about the commercial viability of the turbine engine. Today's historic flight demonstrates the potential of all-electric rotorcraft, and we are thrilled by this achievement." End quote. The ER-44 uses a quick-swap technology for its helicopter battery packs to enable return trip flights without waiting for a recharge. The time required to swap a battery pack is 15 minutes versus one hour for a full recharge. And after these messages, Strato Launch tests hypersonic prototype. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Strato Launch Test Hypersonic Prototype. On October 28, 2022, Strato Launch commenced in flight testing of its Talon A UAV prototype. ROC bore the Talon A test vehicle into the azure vastness above California's Mojave Desert, thereby proving itself and its amidships attached pylon capable of carrying the experimental hypersonic vehicle Strato Launch's management and investors hope to presently see racing regularly spaceward. The flight, ROCKS 8, lasted just over five hours, reaching a maximum altitude of FL-230 and reportedly meeting the entirety of its engineering, performance, and telemetric objectives. Strata Launch Vice President of Programs and Operations Brandon Wood stated in a post-flight teleconference, quote, this is the first integrated flight test of our talent launch system. We'll progress from here to more complicated and certainly more productive flights for our hypersonic test bed, end quote. Strata Launch CEO and President Zachary Crever added, quote, I was ecstatic seeing those two vehicles combined as they lifted off the runway and into the sky. Seeing our flight products operating together represents a significant step toward regular and reusable hypersonic flight, end quote. 
If a planned December 2022 drop test proves successful, Strata Launch aims to test its first production hypersonic vehicle, the Talon A TA-1 in 2023, and offer hypersonic flight services to government and commercial customers soon thereafter. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.